I want to be able to wish everyone a happy Canada Day, but I cannot. Many Canadians are now finally waking up to the horrific price that was paid to establish this country we call Canada. Some people are asking, how do we celebrate? As we continue to see our stolen children's remains uncovered across the country, there is no hiding that the church and state committed genocide. Every Canadian pays a price for our shared history. We, as Indigenous people, paid in full with our lives, our families, our languages, our way of life, and our spirituality, and we continue to suffer. Non-Indigenous Canadians, you also pay a price. The privileges you now enjoy here were paid for in our blood and that of our children. I know it must feel terrible to accept this reality. The proof is before your very eyes. You cannot look away. We cannot begin to move forward in a good way until the truth is accepted, until there is accountability and commitments are made for honoring our inherent rights and treaty obligations. This year, Canada Day should be nothing more than a day of reflection, not a day of picnics and parties. I will not celebrate the birth of a nation that destroyed our children. Instead, I will continue to mourn for our lost children and dig deep to find the strength to help build a path toward a better future. For all of us, this is a good time to reflect on the dark roots of Canada and commit to doing better now and in the future for all our children's sake.